And the Asian giant hornet is getting more attention these days after a viral news article dubbed them murder hornets. These invaders were first spotted nearly five months ago in Washington state. Now as beekeepers grow concerned for their bees safety, scientists are working on a program to deal with those so-called murder hornets. Ryan Sims has our story. Ferocious, fearless and furry. Just a few of the many descriptions for Washington state's newest murderers. I store them in ethanol. They just get stored in 70% ethanol or so if uh, we don't have other scientific uses for them. Dr. Chris Looney is the scientific crime fighter here. That's yeah, a pretty low-tech operation. Today outside Bellingham, we followed this seasoned entomologist as he hunted for giant hornets, also known as murder hornets. And so the immediate thing we think about is what are the approaches we have to locate populations, determine how big they are, and then eradicate them. Let me give you some perspective on how big these pests are. So this is a hornet that you would find anywhere, essentially a regular hornet. This is the murder hornet. And if the actual size of the body weren't enough to scare you as it is, consider this. The stinger on this can be up to a quarter of an inch long. Yet, Dr. Looney will tell you the phrase murder hornet isn't actually correct. If you look at mortality statistics, falling in your home is still far more risky, and we don't report murder ladders to, to the Home Depot. They're actually named the Asian giant hornet. Cap it before it spills again. Dr. Looney is hoping to catch them not because he's worried about people's safety, but rather the safety of the planet. That's because these hornets hunt and kill honeybees. In my mind, it could make some smaller beekeepers just give up because if you lose your hives over and over again, that kind of wears you out. The loss of honeybees would mean a segment of our food chain could be wiped out. Even though only two hornets have been found in Washington state so far, Dr. Looney isn't taking any chances. Thankfully, it has no insects in it and I don't have to uh, change the trap. So far, he and others have set several traps here in Whatcom County. These next few months, though, hundreds of more traps will be placed here. A lot of little flies and maybe a bald-faced hornet and a couple species of yellow jacket. I'll have to get them back to the lab and figure out what they are. On this day, Dr. Looney he came up empty-handed. He admits he doesn't really expect to find any of these hornets in these traps anytime soon. But with the threat to the overall ecosystem now here in Washington, he'll keep checking his traps for as long as it takes. There have been times when farmers have already struggled to get enough pollination. Why, why add one more problem to the equation? And as the temperatures warm and we spend more time outdoors, an entomologist from the University of Minnesota says we might see similar insects to the Asian giant hornet, like the cicada killer wasp. It's not nearly as big as the Asian giant hornet, but may be confusing to the untrained eye. Still ahead here at noon, a recipe if you need a last-minute something for mom ahead of this Mother's Day.